university. Uh, so I'd like to have a presentation on Coriolanoid as a software framework for implementing graphical robotics applications. So first, I'd like to show a demonstration of actual software. Uh, so the installing Coriolanoid is very easy. Uh, so just using this installer, uh, the Coriolanoid has been installed and easily invoke uh, from the start menu. Uh, ah, sorry. This. Okay. And I'd like to load a sample project. Okay. So, uh, so in this project, uh, the model of this robot is loaded and the Poses, uh, pose of this robot can be easily modified on this software, like this. Okay. Uh, and by, uh, by putting the, these poses uh, on the timeline uh, shown in the bottom area, uh, the key pose sequence can be edited like this, and by connecting these key poses, uh, the mo motion of the robot can be obtained. But uh, now I disable the, the uh, key function of this software. It's a uh, automatic balance adjustment function. So, uh, in, in that case, uh, just by connecting the key poses with a simple interpolation, uh, the robot uh, will fall down like this. Uh, but in this software, the dynamic balance of the robot uh, is automatically adjusted. Uh, for example, uh, okay, uh, if, if a user uh, input the uh, poses unlikely to keep balance uh, like this and uh, update, uh, this software automatically adjusts the waist position so that the robot can keep balance and uh, resulting motion can be stable performed uh, by the actual robot, like this. Okay. Uh, it, it seems a little dangerous, but uh, it must be stable. And of course, uh, the human life-size robot can, can be used for this software. For example, uh, this demonstration yeah, was released in the last um, and also uh, I I designed this software to be a general framework for implementing the graphical robotics applications. So the framework covers a GUI and visualization part of the robotics applications and it is a high performance uh, monolithic uh, structure all written in C++. Uh, I mean, it is not a, a kind of distributed uh, object uh, software consisting of several processes. Uh, and uh, this simple structure can achieve the high performance software like uh, uh, this kind of choreography function. And uh, additional functions and their cooperation with existing functions can be flexibly implemented as plugins. And I'd like to introduce an uh, important key point of the design. First, uh, items and item tree structure. So, uh, item in this software represents a uh, uh, data or uh, uh, object uh, that's uh, edited in this software, and items are listed in 
this area as a tree structure and the structure can be freely set uh, by a user and the structure is very important uh, for example uh, uh, this uh, top item is world item which represents the virtual world and by putting the uh, environment model or a uh, uh, robot model as a child item of this but, uh, world item uh, the system uh, consider these models as uh, in the uh, object in the same world and for example uh, collisions, collision detection between the objects uh, performed and uh, so and by putting the motion data uh, as a child item of this robot model and the uh, motion data becomes for uh, that model and uh, playback can be uh, performed <laughs> Okay, so uh, this uh, uh, item and item structure is very, very flexible. And uh, views and toolbars with flexible layout systems. So uh, a user of this framework can add the, uh, any, any uh, these toolbars or uh, views uh, for co controlling the data and, and these views and the toolbars can flexibly change its layout uh, so it's very easy to use it's like a uh, integrated development environment like Eclipse or Visual C++ and uh, internal uh, structure is like uh, uh, so, so MVC uh, model view controller like architecture with signal slot mechanism and it enables a flexible cooperation between the existing functions and the extended functions. And I'll show you uh, through the example uh, plugin code. Okay, and these are components provided by this system. So this system covers a wide range of functions for implementing robotic applications. And by uh, using the basic components uh, the body plugin which provides a basic robotics functions uh, provided and or video audio playback functions are provided by media plugin and by using these uh, functions uh, I have uh, successfully uh, implemented a choreography plugin uh, which handles key pose editing and balance adjustment I show, showed you and or uh, plugins controlling actual robots can be also uh, implemented. And uh, here is the uh, example code for, for implementing a plugin. And uh, this is a very simple uh, plugin. Uh, it has two buttons and implement button uh, here. Uh, just to implement all the joint angles and the deployment button deployment uh, joint angles uh, it's a not so meaningful one but uh, this kind of uh, plugin uh, basically almost all the code is here so it's very short and uh, the buttons are easily created uh, with this method and uh, button has sig clicked signal which is emitted when the user clicks a button and uh, the signal is easily connected to the arbitrary functions uh, and in these functions uh, this function uh, the target body model selected model are uh, obtained and internal model are obtained and uh, it, this code just modify the joint angle variables and by calling uh, this notified kinematic state change, uh, the corresponding signal is emitted and uh, the related views are automatically updated. So it, uh, it's very flexible and simple. So uh, I think uh, these are passive applications as uh, simulators, or motion planning tools, scenario scripting tools, model design tools, and 
robot operation tools. Uh, so uh, uh, this is a huge plan. Uh, so I have to release uh, the software as soon as possible. So now I'm preparing the official website, and uh, I will release uh, the source and the binary packages with an open source license. Okay, that's all. Uh, thank you.